There's more to tell you tonight about that noxious and invasive milk thistle that threatens to spread through Colwood and Machosan. Homeowners in the Royal Bay Area say it is a constant battle to try to keep the thistle at bay, and livestock owners in Machosan are increasingly worried that it might kill their animals. The CTV Stephanie Sherlock reports veterinarians say they have good reason to be concerned. There's still thistles. In 2009, we visited Brian Case to talk thistles. Three years later, we're back. And I still have to go around and pull them out, but I have developed a bit of a, a grass barrier here. I let the grass grow along the border, and that has tended to filter out some of the invasive season. His million-dollar view is Royal Bay. His million-dollar headache, you guessed it, still milk thistle. I go around and pull all the thistles out of the bank just below my grassy area here, and that seems to have um, stifled the, uh, the encroachment of them somewhat. Yesterday, CTV News showed you how the noxious and invasive plant is still a huge problem in Royal Bay. The city of Colwood is working hard to manage its land, but the owner of the former Leahy property, BC Investment Management Corp, appears to be lax. We'd certainly have to investigate what, what steps we could take, you know, um, but then that becomes our cost, and, you know, I can't put the burden of that on other taxpayers either. We contacted the company charged with managing the property, and it declined an interview via email. Email, it simply says steps have already been taken to eradicate weeds and implementation and monitoring is ongoing. They're half uh, uh, farm animals and half pets to us. So yeah, it would be very devastating. Livestock owners worry a further spread will kill their animals. The nitrites are absorbed and they interfere with the oxygen attaching to the hemoglobin on the red blood cells. So the animals basically um, become hypoxic, that means they have no oxygen in their blood. They start breathing heavily, shaking, uh, they can collapse and die from lack of oxygen getting to their tissues. Yes, it's dangerous and uh, I mean we don't like any kind of thistles. We have the scotch thistles and sometimes milk thistle. We just pull them out, cut them down as soon as we see them. Without a definitive response from Great West Life Realty, homeowners and farmers stay vigilant and wait. The sooner this area gets developed, the better. Stephanie Sherlock, CTV News, Colwood.